Well, hello, hello, my friends. This is Linda from Remade with Love. And I just wanted to let you know, I'm so excited tonight. I got a box, it's, it's pretty late at night. My family's in bed asleep and I couldn't wait to open it up. And that's because in the mail today, I got from Amy Howard Maker Studio, the new Maker's Box. And I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it now in front of you and let you know what I've got inside. Um, I'm super excited about this. I've been a crafter and a creator for years. I've loved to paint. Um, I do work outside the home. I'm a counselor. I've been in higher education for about 10 years and then I went into high school counseling for the last three and a half, four years. Um, but I always have that need, that feeling that I need to be crafting something. So I get really crafty with my students. I create and make things um, every chance I can get. My husband thinks I'm a little bit loony, but I found Kindred Spirits with Amy Howard's A Maker's Studio. So anyway, here's her box, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And let you know what's inside. So with, when you become or when you receive a maker's box, um, and of course I found Amy Howard online. I, I've been watching her videos and tutorials for both her furniture line and her crafting, her maker studio line. Um, I've been watching them for years and I finally decided, I, I saw the maker's box. I asked my husband um, to get it for me as a birthday present and he did. And so I just received this today. Um, I've decided I do want to make crafting and creating something that I'm more involved with on a daily basis. And so with this box, I'm also going to be starting my online presence and doing tutorials to let you know what I've done, to let you know um, what Amy Howard has provided for crafters like me, like you, um, for us to do together or to do alone together. You know, in, COVID, in the time of COVID, we're doing things separately, but we can certainly have our tutorials together, connect and get together online and create fabulous, fabulous products that we'll use at home. What I love about Amy Howard is her products are all natural. I'm, I'm concerned when I was considering um, repainting a crib, even though it was a few years old, I'm like, I don't want anything dangerous around an infant or a child. And so I was very concerned about the paint and the products that I was going to use to clean, to repair, and to restore and refinish this crib. And with Amy Howard, I know I'm at ease. I know her products are all um, naturally based. They don't have VOCs. They don't have harsh or hard chemicals. If there is one like one of the cleaners, she gives you instructions on how to use it, but it's all uh, minus a lot of the negative chemicals, the chemicals that we're all worried about. Anyway, let's get to opening the box. So we've got the maker's box and can't wait to see everything in here. It's gonna take me probably a minute to unbox. Um, first thing I see when I open up the box is going to be this um, lovely, it looks handwritten um, note from Amy welcoming me to being a maker and having the maker's box um, from the maker's studio. I love all the funfetti, I call this funfetti. Um, and then underneath, the first thing that I see are um, some of the stencils that Amy makes and that are available from a maker studio. This is the bee and the, the wreath that I've seen on a lot of products that have been um, done through tutorials or live online um, product um, classes um, or to show you what's possible with her line. I love this. Um, the other stencils that are inside, which I'm super excited about, one of the reasons why I wanted the ma this maker's box is because I love her tri-mesh stencils. I can't find anything else quality-wise that is similar to what Amy has. Um, I do make my own tri-mesh stencils. Um, I 
I know they're not as good, although they are reusable and I can put my own slogans, but she has just such wonderful ones um, that are on here that are just beautiful and fun and exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I've got a little note in there. I've got some tea towels that have come with this so I can take some of my stencils and immediately go to work on them. I've got a project I can do, another stencil, another tea towel. I'm really excited about these. Um, what I'll use with the stencils. And on the tea towels and other items, I've got a pack of four um, dark chocolate latte. Um, well, I declare, which is kind of a white. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? Hold your horses. Um, tinted gel art ink. And then I've got some ceramic paint. So in ceramic paint, I've got green with envy. Um, so ceramic paints and the gel art are actually used on different products. And when you watch some of my tutorials, I will go ahead and show you what I will do with these. Um, I'm also finding in here, um, two pots of chalk art. One is cute as a button, which is a, a nice light blue. And the other is, hey, good looking, which is kind of a green. And these are with chalk art. Um, we'll be doing some projects where it's just like writing on a chalkboard, but you can use these with her stencils. And so it looks like you've, you're a wonderful chalk artist, but actually you've just stenciled it onto your piece. Um, I'll be showing you what I do with this chalk art upstairs on this very large chalkboard that I have in my kitchen. So Maker Studio, this is glass etching cream so glass etching cream you might be wondering what are you doing with that in this whole thing with gel art and chalk art and stencils where you can actually take a stencil and by using the glass etching cream etch using the stencil and that will come out on whatever glass that you're using so i'll be able to do some of those tutorials for you some more i've got some more stencils in here quite a few actually and and as you look at it you can cut these apart and use them individually and group them however you want so i'm super excited to get started and then of course i've got a spreader and i've got several of these already because i've already been using the um, gel art ink um, on a number of different things so i'm excited i can't wait to get started i think it's awesome that all these things have come in this makers box and I'll be getting back to you with how we can use this. And I hope you'll join me in creating and making and crafting a beautiful life. Talk soon.